And you can even see, mm. after this, even the Pope will be shaken. Do you know in the prophecy of the Pope, which is a very confidential document, they say that Pope Francis is the last of the Popes. Does it mean that mm -hmm. then the Pope is the Antichrist? Mm -hmm. He is the right-hand man mm -hmm. of the Antichrist. Hello everybody, wherever you're watching us from, people in diaspora, people who are in the country, uh, all the counties of the Republic of Kenya, and of course even people who are watching us from different countries, especially people uh, who have been telling me that we should be doing our programs in English, uh, and if not, I will try my best to uh, include uh, the subtitles so that you can be able to understand whatever you're watching us, people in Namibia, uh, South Africa, Nigeria, uh, Uganda, God bless you. And of course our Kenyans who are in diaspora, in America, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Germany, UK, United States, uh, all over the world. Wherever you're watching us, God bless you for always supporting us. And uh, today I'm uh, with the one and the only Ambassador Steve. I'm sure you're excited to see him back. Uh, people have been asking about, uh, uh, you know, part three of the last shows that we have done to now. And uh, today we will be uh, kind of answering your question that you have been asking uh, as we continue with our discussion. And of course, you can, uh, uh, you can always uh, comment, ask any question and we'll be answering you. But before that, remember, we are powered by 25-7. Uh, contractors limited where we are telling you that we ensure and we make sure that your dream come to life and of course we ensure that your vision of owning your dream house comes to reality and all these you can only find at 25 7 contractors limited i told you guys that with as little as 30 percent you can be able to start your journey of owning your dream house imagine 30 percent so in the layman's language i mean if you want a house that is approximately three million let's say a, a bungalow uh, the, and you have a budget of three million you just need one million to start your construction all these you can only get at 25 7 contractors limited and uh, let us walk on a journey to ensuring that you own your dream house, bungalow, mansion, uh, also an apartment, even commercial. If you're there, you want to build a school, you want to build a hospital, you want to build a bank. We are here for you as 25-7. And what we are saying is you pay as you build and you just need 30% uh, deposit and then the 70% you will pay as we continue with each phase. Uh, and this is something that uh, you, uh, our viewer, you can agree with us that it is very, very easy and stress-free. Yeah, you can call us. The number is on your screen. You can call us 0740926732. All you have to do is contact us and we will ensure that your dream come to life. And uh, with that 30%, you can start your journey of owning your dream house and then 70% you will complete it upon the completion of your uh, construction. So guys, you can call the number on your screen so that you can talk to us and I'm sure you will <coughs> be able to save and you will pay as you build. Thank you so much and um, uh, without further ado, help me welcome the one and the only Ambassador Steve. Amen. 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 How are you? I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I appreciate the Lord for what he has done. Yes. And I think uh, we are on the same page. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Say hi to your friends. Yes, my friends all over the world. Uh -huh. I'm here, Ambassador Steve. We are going to have a good time together and uh, go blow by blow step by step mm -hmm. on what we're going to discuss. is going to be an eye opener. Mm -hmm. And thank you for 
tuning in. Mm. Thank you so much. Uh, for the last two episodes, uh, we have been talking about um, the first episode. We were talking about uh, your the revelation that God yes. had given you. Yes. And if you have not watched, kindly go watch. Um, I will post the link on the comment section. So if you have not watched the first episode, it is just down there. Mm-hmm. And of course, the second episode we were talking about um, uh, the six six six, the yeah. Antichrist. Yes, exactly. And um, we even discussed about. Um, how or will the Islamic religion yes. bring the Antichrist? Exactly. It was a question. Wow. <laughs> and we were able to tackle it. Yes. And uh, by the end of the show, yeah. we were talking about uh, the Antichrist. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, people have been uh, asking a lot of questions, Steve. Yes. And uh, you will allow me. Because today I wanted also our viewers to feel they are part of this conversation. Yes. You will allow me to read a few questions uh, so that we can be able to start from there as we continue with our discussion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, the first question, uh, it is from um, a Patrick... Patrick Olwoch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrick Olwoch is asking, mm-hmm. let, uh, let him bring the story of rumors about the Pope mm-hmm. uh, we always hear. Mm-hmm. The topic, remember, for the part two was about the Antichrist yeah. and the 66. Mm-hmm. So, I think what he's trying to ask the rumors, because I think there's also somebody else who acts in a different manner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to look for that comment so that I can pin it on your screen, our viewer. And, uh, yeah, Lucy Moravi. Yeah. I found it. She's asking, please explain because the name of Pope also stands for 666. Wow. <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> very interesting yeah. question. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe we can start from there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, the best thing we can actually do right now is try to put where truth should be put. And then we dispel lies mm-hmm. and we separate lies from the truth. Mm-hmm. And this actually emanates from the inability of us to be able to sift through the word of God and see what the word is saying. Mm-hmm. And I want to just show you, even from the scriptures, we are going to see several scriptures as well. Mm-hmm. And we want to place the Pope where he should be placed. Mm-hmm. And we went to want to place the Antichrist mm-hmm. where he should be placed mm-hmm. just right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, so wow. it's going to be an amazing uh, uh-huh. actually uh-huh. Uh, journey uh-huh. that we're going to see here. Mm-hmm. And I think this, we're go- I'm going to also give you a document from Vatican. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are going to run through that document. Okay. It's a secret document uh-huh. in Vatican. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a document uh-huh. that is in the secret library of Vatican. I've sifted through the document. Uh-huh. Yes, and now I want to tell you mm-hmm. what these guys know mm-hmm. that the world does not know mm-hmm. and I'm also going to show you mm-hmm. how this document has been kept from 1143 AD mm-hmm. up to 2024 mm-hmm. yes Hi, uh, yes. Tell us. yes now <laughs> uh, the Pope mm-hmm. actually carries the word uh, vicarious mm-hmm. philidei I think that's what the, 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 the lady had added. Yes. yes the, and Vicarius Philidei mm-hmm. is a Latin, those are Latin words. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because one thing that, that the Christians should know mm-hmm. is that um, uh, the official language of the Roman Catholic Church mm-hmm. is Latin, not English. Uh-huh. Latin, it is yes, Latin. Latin, yes. You uh-huh. really, I want to give you names that are Latin, uh-huh. then you see how they originated. Uh-huh. Because now, if you don't, we don't have the truth, uh-huh. we cannot move forward with a lot of power because we are still held uh-huh. with a lot of misinformation uh-huh. and lies. So we want to dispel them uh-huh. so that the Christian people all over the world uh-huh. can see where the truth is. Uh-huh. Now, one thing that you should know uh-huh. is that... Uh, uh, we call him the what? Uh, the Catholic Church mm-hmm. is different from the Roman Catholic. 
the Catholic Church yes. is not the same with the Rome. Is not the, 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 there's what we call the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church. And there's what we call the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic. Yes. They are different. They are different. <laughs> Wow. And that's why you see now the confusion. Mm -hmm. People do not know. And this results from the misinformation. Mm -hmm. People do not know even where the church came from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the original church mm -hmm. was called Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And the word Catholic mm -hmm. is actually derived from a Greek word called Catholicos. Mm -hmm. Or Latin Catholicus. Mm -hmm. Which means universal. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it accommodates all. Now I want to show you where the Roman Catholic came in. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And where all this confusion came in. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So the the issue is mm. now why Roman Catholic? Uh -huh. Yes, because now the early church uh -huh. we had the church at Jerusalem, uh -huh. we had the church at Antioch. Uh -huh church at uh, Ephesus and you mm. see the other churches even in Greece mm. like uh, Thessalonica mm. that church there mm. so in a bid mm. to bring them together mm. they use the Greek word Catholico so we are together and we share the same thing mm -hmm. we are one mm -hmm. so that is where that word is emanating from mm -hmm. now the issue is because of in mis misinformation, mm -hmm. because many Christians do not know even how the Bible has traveled mm -hmm. and how the church has traveled. Mm -hmm. Because in 13, in the, from 70 AD mm -hmm. until 310 mm -hmm. AD, mm -hmm. the church was battered. Mm -hmm. The church was trampled on the ground. Mm -hmm. The church was persecuted and many people died. Mm -hmm. yeah, because the Roman Empire actually persecuted the church and the church went underground. Mm -hmm. So there was no church, by the way. Mm -hmm. People were in their houses mm -hmm. with a lot of fear mm -hmm. that they would be killed. Now, this is now the matter. Mm -hmm. In 313 AD, there is a man called Constantine. Mm -hmm. You've ever heard of Constantine? Mm -hmm. Yes, this was a Roman emperor mm -hmm. who came and he was converted. Mm -hmm. Then he realized that he should do what? Mm -hmm. He should bring Christianity back mm -hmm. to life again. Mm -hmm. So there is an edict in 13, mm -hmm. 313 AD called the Edict of Milan, mm -hmm. where now Christianity again came to, mm -hmm. the churches now sprout again. Mm -hmm. They started mushrooming. Mm -hmm. But before that, they were, mm -hmm. the Christians were murdered. Remember what I'm, I've been telling you about the persecution of the church. Mm -hmm. Wow, the church has shed a lot of blood mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. Millions of people died. Mm -hmm. And us, mm -hmm. we are saying us, we should not go through anything. Every, now you see, even the, history, the short history, mm -hmm. you see that a lot of blood was lost. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the next thing mm -hmm. is about uh, the idea mm -hmm of now this pope mm -hmm. yes because the roman mm -hmm. roman catholic actually mm -hmm. they hijacked the catholic the original catholic church mm -hmm. yes even right now go and check the in ukraine mm -hmm. they have the catholic church of ukraine mm -hmm. but they are not roman catholic mm -hmm. <laughs> They are two different. Yes, they are mm -hmm. different. We have the Maronites mm -hmm. and we have the Chaldean Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. They are not under the Roman Catholic in Vatican. Mm -hmm. yeah, so these guys hijacked the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. eh? And Catholic Church actually came now around uh, the Roman Catholic, I mean, 600 AD. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is one now, now they became stronger mm -hmm. and they became, they actually wielded a lot of power over the people. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to walk you through a document mm -hmm. uh, that actually go is going to touch on the person of Pope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think even the people of Vatican will say that mm -hmm. man is saying the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, but I know I don't know if these other people know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not very sure whether, <laughs> whether these cardinals are aware. They are aware of what we are uh, they, 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 uh, they are, uh, But I'm not sure if they're aware. Mm -hmm. Because God has given me the mm. favor mm. to actually uh, get hold of that document and mm -hmm. sift through it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the document is in Latin. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, <laughs> people who don't understand Latin, they can't be you able can, to yes. understand So, it. you have to be graced mm. enough to go those, through those mm, words in yeah. Latin. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that you can tell people the truth. The truth. But you cannot yeah. just shout, oh, uh, Pope is the Antichrist. <laughs> without any knowledge of evidence. Yes, there's no, so. you must have concrete evidence over yes. these matters. Yes, mm -hmm. we don't want just to talk hearsay. And you can even see, mm -hmm. after this, even the Pope will be shaken. Yeah. Because there is someone who knows. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, yeah, they will okay. be shaken. Yeah. Yeah, because this man understands Latin mm-hmm. and he can draw the the, 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 the letters in mm-hmm. Roman and arrive at his number. Mm-hmm. And then he knows what the prophecy of the Pope said mm-hmm. in the Vatican in the secret document. There is a prophecy. Yes, the, I am going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh-huh. if I forget about the prophecy, please, it's a very will, important. I will yeah, it's a very important I will prophecy. About the prophecy. Yeah, the prophecy of the popes. Uh-huh. We shall actually uh-huh. uh, see what it is saying. Mm. Now, uh, I want to tell the Christians who are watching all over the world uh-huh. that the Pope uh-huh. is not uh-huh. the way they are seeing him. Uh-huh. Yes, it's not the way they are seeing him. Okay. And I want to walk you through that document. Mm-hmm. And that is why you will arrive, realize that some of the things I've been warning the Christians about are actually in that document. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is in that uh, secret document in Vatican mm-hmm. with help from ma- millions of people for mm-hmm. close to, to around 1,900 years. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, so I want to show mm. Christians all over the world to see where mm. the truth is and where the what mm-hmm. the lie like is. That. Now, that question the lady asked mm. uh, that uh, the Pope carries the inscription six 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 is uh, is actually arrived at through the words that read Vicarious Philidei. Vicarious Philidei. 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 Uh, Philidei. Uh-huh. Yeah, now I want to sh- now show you. We want to break it down uh-huh. so that you see where the truth is. What lying. is the meaning of Vicarious? Uh, vi- vi- is it Vicarious? Vicarious Philidei. What now, is the meaning? Yes, Vicarious Philidei. This, this is Latin. Uh-huh. Yes, as I told you, the, the official, Latin word. Yes. Uh-huh. The official language of the Roman Catholic Church is uh-huh. Latin, not Greek or English. Okay. Yes, even their document, most of Which them is in are Latin. Yes, in Latin. Uh-huh. Yes. Now, uh, Vicarious Philidei uh-huh. actually means uh-huh. representative uh-huh. of the Son of God. Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we want to break it down. Representative of the, the son, son of God. Yes, that okay. is what uh, Vicarious Philidei means. Uh-huh. But Vicarious Philidei is Latin. Yeah. Yes, I've just converted them. And now because, it's yeah, because that Vicarious, uh-huh. we want to shoot it up so people can see it uh-huh. properly. Uh-huh. Yeah, because that is where we miss it all. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you go through the document uh-huh. of the Vatican about uh-huh. the Pope, uh-huh. in the prophecy of the Pope, so, uh-huh you realize that Vicarious Philidei is not mm-hmm. in that document. Mm-hmm. Yes. Why? Yeah, I want to show you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the title mm-hmm. of the Pope are three. Mm-hmm. But that fourth one, Philidei, mm-hmm. Vicaria, is not among the titles of the Pope in that secret document. Mm-hmm. Yes, I want, I want to show you why mm-hmm. they did that. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the first title of the Pope in Vatican mm-hmm. is called V it actually it's called Vicarius Christi. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Vicarius, Vic- Christi. Yeah, Vicarius that's not you see now it's also connected to the what? To the Vic- Vicarius Philidei. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't see the Vicarius is uh, mm-hmm. actually repeatedly used a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now Vicarius uh, Christi means mm-hmm. instead of Christ. That is his name. Instead of Christ. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, instead, because the vicar, actually the uh-huh. vicar of uh-huh. Christ uh-huh. is a representative or uh-huh. if Christ is not there, they say he's the one who is standing in, uh-huh. in charge uh-huh. instead of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. That is what it means by vicarious uh-huh. Christi. Uh-huh. Now, number two is called Savas uh-huh. Savarum Dei. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sabah, Sabah day. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you for you you asked about the, the issue of the Pope. So we yes. want to we want to punch him yes. where we need to punch him. Uh-huh. Like we did to the other yes. Yes. Yeah, right. you remember? Remember. Uh-huh. yeah, so we don't want to rest on um, hearsay uh-huh. and information that doesn't hold any water. Uh-huh. It serves Savoram uh-huh. Day. Uh-huh. That is the title of the Pope. Uh-huh. And they know. Uh-huh. Even if you ask the Pope today, uh-huh. text him. Uh-huh. Yes, text Vatican. Uh-huh. And they will bring you the information. Uh-huh. Yeah. They will say you are saying the truth. Uh-huh. Sava Savarum Day means uh-huh. servant of the servants of God. Uh-huh. That is his title. Uh-huh. Now, the, the next third t- title, which is also very important in their own documents, uh-huh. and actually the uh, Catholics on the higher realm uh-huh. will attest to this. But I know the, the ones on the lower 
they may not understand mm. this one because these are secret documents that they store in Vatican. Mm. No, unless you've really done a lot of research, mm. you cannot really attain this knowledge from their end. Mm. Now, there is what we call mm -hmm. Pontifex mm -hmm. Maximus. That is also his. And they are Latin. Mm. The Pontifex mm. Maximus. Mm -hmm. That is also their what? Mm -hmm. Is also uh, is the Pope's the, title. Yeah. yeah, the Pope's title. Mm. Now, what does Pontifex Maximus mm. mean? Yeah, this, is a, this is a, this is a, a Latin word. Mm -hmm. It means mm -hmm. that he is the supreme pontiff. Supreme pontiff. Mm -hmm. Yes, now of all the pontiffs, mm -hmm. actually now Pope mm -hmm. is the supreme of all of them. Mm -hmm. And that is his title mm -hmm. in that document. Mm -hmm. Now, you realize that the vicarious philidae is missing. Uh -huh. Yes, it's missing mm -hmm. in that particular document. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you why it is missing. Mm -hmm. Yes, why the document, in the document, the philidae, mm -hmm which actually mm -hmm. translates to 666, mm -hmm. uh, and even it's in his crown, right? Mm -hmm. In yes, his crown. Yes, yes. If you calculate them, they come to mm -hmm. 666, Six. right? Mm -hmm. Now, why is it missing in that document? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the biggest story now. Mm -hmm. Because ask any senior uh, bishop mm -hmm. uh, in Catholic mm -hmm. about Philadelphia, if it is among the official names of the Pope, they'll tell you it's not. Mm -hmm. Yes. And is that's a very integral, mm -hmm. uh, integral part of the what, mm -hmm. of the of the Pope's title. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now the issue is this, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Hiram. Mm -hmm. The issue is uh, mm -hmm. there is a cover up mm -hmm. over this mm -hmm. because they knew people would then have information. You, know, inform you cannot hide information for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yes, people would know about this mm -hmm. and they would label him as who. The yes, mm -hmm. as they had, so that they had to gog it out. Mm -hmm. So it's not in pa part of the document, mm -hmm. inside that document. Mm -hmm. It's not part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, does it mean that mm -hmm. then the Pope is the Antichrist? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question you yes. asked me. This is what I, I, I gathered. Mm -hmm. I've gathered for a very long time. Mm -hmm. He is not... He's not yes. the Antichrist. Yeah, he's not the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he is the right hand man mm -hmm. of the Antichrist. The right hand, hand man, man of the Antichrist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's the right hand man. Yes, of the Antichrist. Uh -huh. Yes. So the yeah. right man hand means the helper. Yes. He's going to be the helper. Because look uh -huh. here, uh -huh. the Antichrist. Uh -huh is uh, you've had something called the New World Order. Yes. Yes. Now, yeah. the New World Order has three segments. Mm -hmm. Segment number one in the New World Order, we have the political segment mm -hmm. that is going to be run purely by the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Then the second segment is the economic segment. Mm -hmm. You've heard about World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. They are going to handle this. Then the third segment, we have something called the religious segment. Mm -hmm. Now is where our guy whom you are claiming is the Antichrist is going to handle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I want to share with you, you know, Revelation chapter th number 13. Mm -hmm. Do you know who forces Christians to worship the beast? Who? The false prophet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you know who is the false prophet? Mm -hmm. It is now this guy. So even carrying the inscription uh, Vicarious Philidae mm -hmm. is like, for example, uh, if you are my running mate, mm -hmm. I want to be a president of mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. and you are my running mate, mm -hmm. you will carry what? My manifesto wherever yes, you go. Yes, yes. Yeah, so this is just like a manifesto. Mm -hmm. Because the, the false prophet is the one who enforces the mark of the beast. Go and read Revelation chapter 13, the whole of it. It is not the Antichrist who enforces the worship. Mm -hmm. The 666, the mark of the beast, in end is enforced by the false prophet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who makes the image of the beast? It is the false prophet, not the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he plays a very major role mm -hmm. in whipping people towards what? Mm -hmm. Towards worship of the beast. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that is why the Pope is a very important fella mm -hmm. in the coming years. Mm -hmm. And I want to walk you through something very special about the prophecy of the Popes mm -hmm. and now see where he falls in now. Okay. Yes, you see now in the prophecy of the Popes. Mm -hmm. Now, in the prophecy of the Popes, mm -hmm. 
Actually, the prophecy starts from 1143 AD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when there is a pope called Celestine the second. Have you ever heard about a man called Celestine? Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> the name sounds like a lady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Celestine. <laughs> it is a man. It is a man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh -huh. Celestine the uh second -huh. from 1143 AD. Now, if you count the all the popes, uh -huh. do you know in the prophecy of the pope, which is a very confidential document, they say that Pope Francis is the last of the popes. The prophecy says that. Yes, in their book, this one is the last pope. Wait a minute, yes. because I'm sure there are people who may, may, maybe they don't know. Yes. What is the name of our, of the current Pope? Pope Francis. Pope Francis. Yes. And now you're telling us mm -hmm. that uh, the prophecy yes. that was given in 1143. Actually, there is a book uh -huh. called the, the, the Prophecy of the Popes in Vatican. In Vatican. Yes. It speaks of yes. the last... Pope. Mm -hmm. Now this one uh -huh. is the last Pope. And that's why uh -huh. it's very important that they brought that question so uh -huh. that we clear it to the end uh -huh. because this is where actually Christians are going to be confused again. Uh -huh. Because now this guy is uh -huh. going to be the last what? Pope. According to the prophecy of the Popes in that book uh -huh. in Vatican. And it's a very confidential book. Uh -huh. Yes. In the secret library of Vatican, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm telling you, go ask the ask the send a message to Rome, mm -hmm. ask them about this. They'll tell you what that guy is saying is very true. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we access that information. Mm -hmm. Now this is the last pope, mm -hmm. and listen to what will happen after the last pope. Now mm -hmm. this one is the last pope, right? Yes. You remember when I was telling you mm -hmm. about my revelation? Yes that we are coming to the end mm -hmm. and i was warning the christians that the, the, the christ will not take longer before he comes yes. now you see this one already mm -hmm. they know mm -hmm. yes they are aware and they say after this guy there are things that actually like, that are going to happen number one mm -hmm. immediately after this guy mm -hmm. we are getting into what we call the persecution of the church in the prophecy of the popes that book so yes immediately after, after this guy so after he dies or after what? Uh, he may resign, he or, may uh, in but any way. But, but, yes, but, but yes, but if he moves, mm -hmm. immediately he moves out. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happens? Mm -hmm. We are out of the popes now. Because he's the last of the popes in the books so, of prophecy in what, Vatican. What if he, uh, he moves? Mm -hmm. So there will be no pope. Yes. Is, this one is the last one. Uh -huh. what, when uh, when uh, there is something called the sevens of the Lord, uh -huh. which of course I will also teach the Christians. Uh -huh. Do you know that this when I arrange all oh, arrange my all sevens, uh -huh. actually these guys are only with the negative three. Ac how accurate they are! Very accurate. Uh -huh. They can even tell you when the persecution can come. Uh -huh. Yeah, those guys they know. Yes, yeah, because they said this is the last one. So when I was arranging, because I wanted to try them, mm. try them through the scriptures, mm. yes, through mm. the, the servants of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Remember, I've been telling about the servants of the Lord. Mm. So if you arrange them in from the book of Genesis mm. to Revelation, the servants, they are negative three years only. Mm. You see? Mm. Negative three years. Now, which, which means that immediately this guy mm -hmm. actually comes out mm -hmm. of the papacy, mm -hmm. They say, number one, what will happen mm -hmm. is that persecution of the church will break out all over the world. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And I've been warning the Christians mm -hmm. that they should not be, de be deceived, mm -hmm. that they will not go through persecution. Even these guys know the persecution is coming. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they can attest to it because it is in their prophecy. Mm -hmm. Yes, after mm -hmm. this guy, persecution does what? It will come. It will come. Now, number two, mm -hmm. they say, that the judgment of Rome mm -hmm. will come and then the Rome will collapse mm -hmm. in their prophecy. Mm -hmm. Yes, in their prophecy. Mm -hmm. Then number three, mm -hmm. after the judgment of Rome, mm -hmm. what will happen mm -hmm. is the end of the world. Uh -huh. That is what it is written. Yes, in the prophecy of the popes, yes. And remember this, remember they say this one is the last. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
no wonder you see pop is now running up and down all over the world trying to bring all religious leaders together haven't you seen mm. yeah where by muslims or mm. the buddhist or the shintoists mm. all others are bring, brought together they say now look at the narrative they have brought mm. this is last week mm. they said that all religions lead to god mm -hmm. yes did you see that i i missed it yes that all religions lead to who to god so we must come together as mm. the children of god all of us mm. but what does the bible say mm. who leads people to god john 14 uh -huh. verse 6 uh -huh. jesus says i am the what the way yes mm. He is the one that you, you, you use him to get to where God is. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now someone tells you, ah, any, any religion, universalism. Mm -hmm. And that is what they're going to do. And it will sound very sweet mm -hmm. for majority, millions of people. It mm -hmm. sounds very nice mm -hmm. that we coexist together with the mm -hmm. Muslims. We call the same. Yes. So mm -hmm. it looks, it's, even you can see how. Strategy of bringing people of God together. Yes. So mm -hmm. let us be together. Mm. And now this is whipping the whole world mm. to one worship. They have made mm -hmm. uh, Abrahamic temple mm -hmm. in United Arab Emirates is already there whereby all of you will be worshiping one God mm -hmm. and all your religions will be together now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the temple is already there. Mm -hmm. Now you see, I was giving you the segment, the political mm -hmm. segment of the Antichrist, mm -hmm. religious segment which will be led by the false prophet, mm -hmm. and then the third one which is the economic segment. Mm -hmm. Now you see the segment the way they fall mm -hmm. very nicely. Mm -hmm. So already they have the the the, the religious segment. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have completed the religious segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because already mm -hmm. they have come together. Mm -hmm. Now what is remaining mm -hmm. is uh, partly economic mm -hmm. and political mm -hmm. and this is how they they are going to play it and these are the signs you will see and indicators number mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. the, the they call it the 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 economic segment mm -hmm. because they are looking at a scenario mm -hmm. whereby they can have uh, they can have digital currency and mm -hmm. cashless society mm -hmm. and this one they, they have to achieve it in the coming years mm -hmm. because time actually is running out mm -hmm. and the digital ids mm -hmm. yes so this one they have to effect it mm -hmm. very very soon mm -hmm. as you've heard even in your country here they're talking about the digital currency yes yeah. why do they want the digital number mm -hmm. yeah it's connected to the digital economy mm -hmm. that is cashless society mm -hmm. yeah very much connected mm -hmm. now the political one will come much later at the revealing of the man of sin now mm -hmm. that is when he will now what mm -hmm. take the political mm -hmm. yeah because remember in revelation chapter 6 verse 2 mm -hmm. he came conquering and to conquer mm -hmm. he is a, going to be an, a military man right mm -hmm. now another thing that i wanted christians i didn't want to forget mm -hmm. so that christians all over the world should know mm -hmm. is that uh, the jesus actually gives us the the location mm -hmm. from which this guy is going to come from mm -hmm. but we've not read our bibles mm -hmm. yes the bible is talking about mm -hmm. the beast that rose from where mm -hmm. from the sea and he had what mm -hmm. seven heads mm -hmm. and ten horns mm -hmm. You see? Mm. Yes. Now, Revelation chapter 17, if you read all of it, mm -hmm. they try to really, they have really tried to, 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 to divide those horns and heads together mm -hmm. yeah, so that we can see the reality where that guy is coming from. Mm -hmm. But I know Revelation chapter 17 will be much more complicated for most of us. Mm -hmm. So I want to drive you to uh, a verse in chap Matthew chapter 24 verse 26 mm -hmm. and you hear what jesus is saying then i want to show you now where the antichrist will come mm -hmm. so don't believe it is it is the it is the pope mm -hmm. because pope will be at the right hand man mm -hmm. yes because he, he is the one who is going to affect that number mm -hmm. yeah, by force mm -hmm. so here I mean, if you don't have the number you won't buy even food mm -hmm. even much box you will not buy and yeah, now what will happen if i if I cannot buy anything. Because yeah. see, people will be forced to accept. And, and that is why we want to bring the truth mm -hmm. so that we tell people now, if they do, because Jesus actually, if you read the word, of, if you follow Jesus very closely, mm -hmm. you will realize that everything that these people do, oh. there is something Jesus is telling us to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, when they do, when they, when they bring the abomination that causes desolation, yeah. Jesus is telling us what to do. Okay. Uh, but now we are lost mm. because we don't even read God's but, word. Yeah, we, yeah. we are just like sheep without a shepherd. Yeah. Uh, mm. And 
that's why it lost. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, what does Jeremiah say? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse 22 says, mm -hmm. My people are foolish, mm -hmm. for they do not know me. Mm -hmm. They do not have understanding. Mm -hmm. That's what God is speaking through prophet Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. My people are what? Foolish. For they don't they do not know, know the Lord. Know, yeah. yeah, they do not know. Mm -hmm. Now, Matthew chapter number 24, verse 26 says, mm -hmm. Jesus is warning us, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's saying, if they tell you mm -hmm. he is in the desert, mm -hmm. do not go there. Mm -hmm. If they say mm -hmm. he is in the chambers, mm -hmm. do not believe it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Matthew 24. 26. 26. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a very powerful verse. Now, mm -hmm. I want to show you the Greek words mm -hmm. that are in Matthew 24, mm -hmm. 26. Mm -hmm. Then you see exactly where the Antichrist is going to come. As you can see from my attire, I'm uh, on site uh, with 25-7 Contractors Limited, where we are telling you that we ensure and we make sure that your dream come to life and of course, we ensure that your vision of owning your dream house comes to reality. And all these you can only find at 25-7 Contractors Limited. I told you guys that with as little as 30%, you can be able to start your journey of owning your dream house. Imagine, 30%. So, in the layman's language, I mean, if you want a house that is approximately 3 million, let's say it's a, a bungalow uh, the, and you have a budget of three million you just need one million to start your construction all these you can only get at 25 7 contractors limited and uh, let us walk on a journey to ensuring that you own your dream house bungalow mansion it uh, also an apartment even commercial if you're there you want to build a school you want to build a hospital you want to build a bank we are here for you as 25 7 and what we are saying is you pay as you build and you just need 30 percent uh, deposit and then the 70 percent you will pay as we continue with each phase uh, and this is something that uh, you uh, our viewer you can agree with us that it is very very easy and stress free yeah you can call us the number is on your screen you can call us 0740926732 the word desert is an english word isn't it yeah. so when we you go to greek and look mm -hmm. for that word mm -hmm. do you know what it reads mm -hmm. eremo eremo yes mm -hmm. do you know what eremo is mm -hmm. eremo mm -hmm. Eremo is a, is a part, mm -hmm. actually east or south, mm -hmm. of Palestine. Mm -hmm. Eremo. Yeah, Jesus used the word Eremo. Mm -hmm. He never used the word desert. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the Greek, the desert, actually, they just tried to look for a word yeah. that, uh, you know, looks uh, mm -hmm. almost closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Eremo mm -hmm. is east or south of Palestine. Mm -hmm. Now, can you locate it, the country now? Mm -hmm. Now, the country, if you locate that country, mm -hmm. east, east or south of Palestine, mm -hmm. you go to a country called Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. is what now Jesus is mentioning. Mm -hmm. That if you hear that it's coming, is there, mm -hmm. do not believe mm -hmm. that it is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, number two, there is something called the inner room. Mm -hmm. If they say, tell you, he is in the inner chamber, don't what? Mm -hmm. Don't go. <laughs> don't, don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know where, the, where the, the word for inner chamber in Greek, it mm -hmm. says? Mm -hmm. It is called tamius. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tamil. Now, what does Tamil say? Mm -hmm. This Tamil is a secret room, mm -hmm. probably in the what? Mm -hmm. In the temple. Uh -huh. Now you see, mm -hmm. the issue was telling you about the temple mm -hmm. and the Antichrist mm -hmm. and the nation where it's going to originate from. Mm -hmm. And Daniel chapter 9 verse 26 actually is very huge. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it says? Mm -hmm. It says that the prince the people of the prince who is to come. Now mm. you see the word prince. Mm. Is it not related to Saudi Arabia? The prince oh, of... The prince, yeah. <laughs> hey, you get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you see, the Bible is so accurate. Mm. Uh, very accurate. Because Jesus mm. is saying it, this is, is going to come from Eremo. Mm. Uh, and when you go to Eremo, mm. you see where Eremo is. Uh, <laughs> now, he's telling us mm. that... Uh, uh, he will set mm -hmm. an image in the temple. Jesus tell me, 20, Matthew chapter 24, verse 15. Jesus is saying in Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, that when you see 
uh, abomination that causes desolation, then let the, read, let the reader understand. Now, he's actually inviting us to go to the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. There is an inscription there in mm -hmm. yeah, we go to mm -hmm. and read the book of Daniel. And when you go to Daniel chapter 9, verse 26, you see that the prince, the people of the prince will destroy the city mm -hmm. and the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. You see now? Yeah. Very clear. Mm -hmm. So, you now, I think uh, here I'm now you can even see uh -huh. when we were doing about uh, the Almadi. Mm. You remember how they switched it? Yes. You remember the Almadi? Uh -huh. And I told you it's coming from the lineage of who? Of Fatuma. You see? Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh -huh. that is why mm. I brought this mm. to dispel the, the notion uh -huh. that the Pope is the Antichrist. The Pope is the right hand man. Mm. Yes. He's the right hand man of who? Mm -hmm. of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he's not going to be the Antichrist. He's mm -hmm. the one going to enforce this. Mm -hmm. Because he's the only man right now who has influence mm -hmm. that can bring... Do you, do you know of any pastor in the world that can bring all these people together? Mm -hmm. Nobody. But why is he bringing them? Mm -hmm. He's having such a huge clout. Now, yes. Uh, if, when, when you say mm -hmm. that Pope uh, is the right hand man of uh, ant the Antichrist, mm -hmm. Where do you leave the people who follow follow him? His followers, the Catholic. Yes. Do now, uh -huh. uh, the most of the followers uh -huh. that follow the Pope will go with him. Uh -huh. But even in the Catholic Church today, there are uh -huh. children of God who are there, uh -huh. and God is going to call them uh -huh. and talk to them, uh -huh. so they come out of what, uh -huh. out of that deception. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you can even see what is happening is very deceptive. Uh -huh. So they actually have to do what? Uh -huh. To come out of uh -huh. following that man because he's going to lead them astray. Uh -huh. Yeah, so while a number will follow uh -huh. the Pope, uh -huh. but there is a number that will come to the truth towards the coming of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there is also something that we should actually uh, uh -huh. get very seriously, Mr. Hiram. Uh -huh. It is the issue. There is, there is a verse in the Bible that says... Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 mm -hmm. it says mm -hmm. when Jesus is sending mm -hmm. his disciples to mm -hmm. go and preach you remember mm -hmm. he tells them I'm sending you mm -hmm. as sheep among the wolves mm -hmm. but be as wise as the serpent mm -hmm. and as harmless as the doves mm -hmm. you see this particular verse alone mm -hmm. this is the verse that we should actually now stand on at the moment mm -hmm. so that our wisdom mm -hmm. actually should even surpass the wisdom of the snakes mm -hmm. can i ask you a question here mm -hmm. have you ever seen snakes walking in groups mm -hmm. have you ever seen a snake with the, the little child they're walking to get child they're walking together uh, i have never <laughs> you've never seen a snake with the children with another snake? Yes. No. <laughs> you see, now, mm -hmm. that is why mm -hmm. God should reveal his word to us. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way, mm -hmm. no, I know no one, mm -hmm. even the listeners globally, mm -hmm. they go looking for, see, seeing snakes in you know, the zoos and all that. Mm -hmm. But you can never see mm -hmm. a snake walking with their children. Mm -hmm. Yes, they walk alone. Mm -hmm. Because of what? The wisdom they know. Mm -hmm. what to do mm -hmm. and what not to do mm -hmm. yes and when god is inviting jesus is inviting the disciples to actually see their way mm -hmm. it has a lot of you know a lot of wisdom that we should actually borrow from them and this is the time we should have the wisdom of the snakes mm -hmm. yeah because they will hunt us and kill us mm -hmm. yeah because you see even the in the prophecy mm -hmm. of the popes they say that after this pop persecution will mm -hmm. break in the church mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. now if you are not possessing the wisdom of the snakes mm. we are not going to manage mm. remember the snakes were cast by god in the garden of eden mm. yes and they have survived mm. up to today do you think it's a small wisdom mm -mm. do you think it's a small wisdom it's and right. snakes mm. actually are in every part of the world mm. suppose we were the ones who were cast would we would we have survived we were, they just cast the ground off for mm. us and see how we are struggling. Mm. Uh, but the, the snake was actually cast mm. directly by God. But mm. see what they are able to do. They are all over the world mm. and they are, still, they, 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 they are still managing. And let me shock you mm. about the snakes. Mm. Do you know that the snake can sense uh, 
earthquake when an earthquake wants to happen like in Nairobi 121 kilometers away mm. they can before it happened the yeah. snakes are aware mm-hmm. that something is coming mm. yes and they go away 121 kilometers away mm-hmm. yes they are able now when Jesus is inviting the disciples and saying can you now possess the wisdom be have the wisdom like of this guy mm. so that you survive where you are going mm. because even killing a snake is not a simple joke mm. yes because they know where to run to even mm. a small a small a small snake mm. hey, can bring us headache here mm. because he's a wise guy very true yes he's a wise guy he's a small headache mm. so a small snake can bring us headache here mm. yes because when snakes are born mm. it is they are only new in the skin mm. but they are born with brains that already impact like mm. their mother mm. yes mm. so they are like their mother that, why, that is why i can take your time mm. and go read that scripture again mm. and again then go study how snakes operate mm. and that wisdom that jesus is inviting his disciples on mm. is very very important mm-hmm. for us as well this time mm. they are going to hunt us they are going to kill us mm-hmm. they are going to slaughter us mm-hmm. but how are we going to survive mm-hmm. when our wisdom mm-hmm. is like the wisdom of the mm-hmm. sheep mm-hmm. yeah because we are sheep mm-hmm. but jesus wants us to transform from mm-hmm. being the sheep mm-hmm. to be what mm-hmm. to acquire the wisdom of the oh, snakes the snake. and then we become like the what the yeah, dove that is the invitation jesus is inviting us mm. but we have not gotten the opportunity to learn mm. these things here mm. and there is one thing before i forget it is about uh, the versions of the bible mm-hmm. yes the version of the bible mm-hmm. uh, what these guys did mm-hmm. the the guys of the prophecy that i've just talked about here mm-hmm. do you know they changed the bible mm-hmm. a lot of things have been changed in the bible and this one i didn't want to forget mm-hmm. that so that christians can go and buy king james version mm-hmm. of the bible mm-hmm. that is the original version mm-hmm. niv and all the east african mm-hmm. english Good standard uh, all those versions have been corrupted big time mm-hmm. and i will show you if you go to niv they don't have matthew chapter 18 verse 11 in all the english bible the american all of them they don't have except king james version no explanation was given matthew 17:21 you see mark 15:28 they are not inside there the yes bible. but they are in king james now in king james uh, this other version uh, let me put like uh, like niv uh, they have changed 69000 words Mm-hmm. about Jesus Christ. I want to give you a verse we will go and compare the two. Mm-hmm. In NIV uh, Daniel chapter 9 verse 26 this is how it reads mm-hmm. after two weeks the messiah shall be cut off mm-hmm. and will have nothing. Mm-hmm. That is how it reads in what? NIV. NIV. Mm-hmm. Now see how it reads in King James. King James, mm-hmm. King James says after 62 weeks which is a uh, 3 score mm. and 2 weeks after 62 weeks the messiah shall be cut off but not for himself go compare niv mm. and who and king james version mm. yeah now king james is saying not for himself he will mm. be crucified but not because of himself mm. because of us right mm. then look at what envis in niv is saying mm. that after 62 weeks mm. the messiah shall be cut off and will have nothing mm. do you know what implications uh, niv is bringing mm-hmm. that the messiah after his death mm-hmm. there was no impact because even he died because of his own sins is dead like any other person yes mm. yes because the, the the death had no impact had no impact yes mm. but now king james is saying mm. that the death of jesus christ he had he was uh, he was cut off but not for himself are you seeing the two words mm. yeah i think you can even see the difference mm-hmm. yes now there are 60 69000 words that actually have been pushed out of mm. these other versions mm. that uh, are not king james in fact even new king james is corrupted mm. i want to give you like a verse in uh, revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 mm. 17 and 18 i want to see, show you something very very important mm-hmm. now when the mark will be affected mm-hmm. the bible says in king james version mm-hmm. that the mark was placed in the right hand mm-hmm. or in the forehead mm. you get it mm. what does niv and other version say mm-hmm. it will be on on yeah 
You see? Mm. Now, you see, already the Antichrist can come and confuse us mm. and say, ah, you know, in our Bibles they say on, but mm. us, we are now working with what? Mm. What in. So you see, this in and on, do you know how many paragraphs they make in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Around uh, 62 paragraphs, that is from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. How much mm -hmm. uh, damage do you think they have done to God's word? Mm. They have done massive damage to God's word. And I give you, Christians should wake up. Mm. Yeah, because these things, if we are missing verses in such numbers, mm. we are missing words in large numbers. Even go to First John 4.19. Mm. It's a simple one. Mm. Yes. He said uh, they, they, they have removed him. Mm. They have removed Christ. Mm -hmm. And they have removed such words more than 69,000 words. Mm -hmm. Do you think we have Bibles in our churches? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. You can even see the example. Mm -hmm. you, you will go and quote for the people. You show mm -hmm. them the differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that they can see where we are mm -hmm. at this and, moment. And, and there was a question we were talking about where mm -hmm. I had asked mm -hmm. about the... Uh, you were talking about the... How, you know, we will not be able to buy anything... Yes. In the, you know, in the coming days to come. Mm -hmm. And you are saying... Uh, I asked now what happens yeah. when you can't buy anything will be forced to give in now that is why you remember Daniel says mm -hmm. that those with understanding mm -hmm. will instruct many mm -hmm. but they will fall by the what mm -hmm. by the edge of the sword mm -hmm. Daniel 11 32 remember the other mm -hmm. verse I was sharing mm -hmm. yeah now this now is calling God is raising people all over the world by the way mm -hmm. who are going to show his children what to go to do mm -hmm. because you remember in the, in the book of Dunini, the book of um, revelation mm -hmm. chapter 13 mm -hmm. uh, verse 10 mm -hmm. says that those there are those who will go to captivity mm -hmm. they will go to captivity mm -hmm. those who will be killed by the sword mm -hmm. will be killed by the what mm -hmm. by the sword but this calls for endurance mm -hmm. or and patience on the faith of the saints mm -hmm. you see yeah, is an encouragement and as for us to be what? Mm -hmm. To be very strong mm -hmm. on this matter. Mm -hmm. Now, your question, how will we survive without buying and selling? Mm -hmm. Yes, that one now comes just in time with what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to share to the people. Mm -hmm. That now this is the knowledge you need it right now. Mm -hmm. Because if you lack this knowledge, Iram, mm -hmm. you will not buy and, and sell. Mm -hmm. So you need to get the, 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 these things we're sharing bits by bits. You start eating them. Mm -hmm. Because at least we have some time, little time, mm -hmm. that can make us actually mm -hmm. learn mm -hmm. on what we should do. Mm -hmm. And that is why God is raising servants all over the world who will be teaching people what to do mm -hmm. and not what to do. Mm -hmm. If they put the mark, mm -hmm. what will we do? Mm -hmm. yeah, those are the things we shall be addressing. Mm -hmm. And it's not that God has not shared with his servants. Mm -hmm. We have information on what to do mm -hmm. but we shall be sharing with people with the time mm -hmm. on what they should be doing when they bring this mm -hmm. we tell them to do this and mm -hmm. this is what jesus has been talking about all along mm -hmm. sharing with his people mm -hmm. and we will go even to the greek text then we learn those words you mm -hmm. see you've seen the eremo mm -hmm. so you actually yeah, yeah. you can see exactly where the guy is going to come mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. yeah now there is the aspect of uh, us having enough faith in the word mm -hmm. because the credibility of god's word has been hijacked isn't mm -hmm. it you can mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. can't you very true yes has mm -hmm. been hijacked mm -hmm. and we need the infallible mm -hmm. truth of god's word mm -hmm. we need um that word that will keep us moving mm -hmm. so this one will help us great deal as mm -hmm. we walk across the country by the way i'm going to go across the country mm -hmm. yes teaching mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. and having conversations with people mm -hmm. yeah we just we don't want people's faith to rest on uh, mm -hmm. on just uh, a weak ground mm -hmm. we want them to rest on what mm -hmm. yeah so we'll be going across the country over mm -hmm. this issue mm -hmm. but there are issues we're not going to to, we will not do here, mm. we will not be sharing here, mm. we will be secretly sharing them. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because there's, there are things that are coming, really, yeah. Yeah, so we can't put them, yeah, so we can't share them mm. in the public, mm. but we will tell the children of God. Even mm. uh, those people who are on, on WhatsApp, mm. they can actually have that number, mm. yeah, so that they keep updated, mm. they ask the, me, the, the number that you uh, give is on WhatsApp? Yes, it's on WhatsApp. Ah, yeah, okay. now it's on, it, it's now on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, so that people can get to know where mm. we are going, because this one need wisdom. Mm. Here is not a joking story. Mm. Remember, I'm receiving calls mm. from all over the world. The whole con the whole world, mm. all the continents have mm. received the mm. calls. Mm. Now it means how that these messages are cutting 
across the what? Across mm. the world. Mm. Yes, and they are listening. They are asking questions. Mm. They are putting their leaders into task mm. to explain these things. Mm. And that is where we are headed. We need to learn. Mm. Yes, we need to correct because in every 400 years, mm. there is always a falling away. Mm. Uh, people fall from the truth. Mm. But now God raises his servants again all over the world to whip people back to the mm. truth. Now you have spoken about yeah. the falling away. I have remembered a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, we are coming to the end of the program. We are concluding. Yeah. But we always uh, lead, you know, people to the next topic that we'll be talking about <laughs> next yes. next week. Yes. And uh, there's somebody who was asking. Mm-hmm. And maybe you can guide us on that. Yeah. When did Christianity come to Africa? When did, did Christianity come? Even to, let us be more specific. Yes. In Kenya. In Kenya. <laughs> Because now it, it was challenging mm-hmm. the Christianity mm-hmm. uh, religion, yeah, and uh, say so, you know we, we were p- people were being taught. I remember also myself. I was taught how Christianity was brought uh, in Kenya mm-hmm. uh, through missionaries, yes, uh, in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Uh, so before Christianity, yes, people were worshiping their cultural and traditional gods. Yeah, true, true. Uh, for example, in the, in the Kikui community, mm-hmm. we were worshipping Guy, who mm. used to live in Kerenyaga. Yes. Uh, all that history, <laughs> I'm sure people can be... Yeah, uh, can, can relate. Can relate. <laughs> yes. So, what happened? So, he was trying to say this, the god that Christians worship, mm-hmm. it is a god of the white people. Okay. And it is not... These are just things that were brought to mm. confuse us mm-hmm. uh, because initially yes. there was no God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say as we well, come to the end? So, uh, <laughs> I think uh, that's a very wonderful question, uh-huh. and I think we need a lot of time also on also, that. It is a very, uh, yes, very, it's a very heavy question. Heavy question. Yeah, so because I don't, want to give, I don't want to give two reasons. Uh-huh then the skeptics will challenge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want us to rest on real information. That is, that is why I say it. Yeah. It is a question that yeah. will lead us yes. to the it's next. A, yes, it's such a huge topic. question. Yeah, yes. very huge, huge question. Because now people need to know, because he was trying to say that the Christianity religion, it was brought us by the white. Yes. It was not there in Africa, which in, is true. In, in, it was not here. there. Uh, look here. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even, the, the, the person who asked you, mm-hmm. if you run him through history, mm-hmm. he doesn't even know where the whites were by that time. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> because that's why I told you, uh-huh. we need time mm-hmm. so that we go blow by blow. Mm-hmm. You remember how we've been going blow by blow? Yes. Yeah. yes. Even the Muslims on the other video, mm. they are calling me from I Saudi Arabia. Yeah. They're, they're so saying, many. my brother, but you're so hard on us. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Even here, the Pope will mm. react. Mm-hmm. Yes, they will react mm-hmm. because it's blow by blow, resting on truth. Yes. Yes. That is the first question. Mm-hmm. And the second one, as we come to the end, there mm. was somebody who was asking and uh, requesting how we should we should do a comprehensive coverage yeah. of the Book of Revelation. Yes. Because people don't. When you read the book of Revelation, mm-hmm. you just read it as a storybook. Yeah. Because you are telling us that uh, the Bible says that uh, only few have the knowledge to understand. Mm-hmm. You are saying something like that. Because you can't understand Revelation. Because uh, now, it was about now, that you now, mentioned still, yeah, yes. about seven horns. Yeah. <laughs> and ten heads. <laughs> ten, ten heads. <laughs> No. Can I tell you something? Uh-huh. You don't have to fear those symbols uh-huh. because even when you, the Bible explains itself, uh-huh. where like Daniel has talked about it, but yes. in Revelation chapter 17, uh-huh. they are now breaking them down. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's how our God is so good that uh-huh. He breaks information uh-huh. for us. Now, everyone can understand the Bible uh-huh. yeah, because we are all children of God. Uh-huh. No one is above the other. Uh-huh. The only thing we have some small, small gifts, maybe. Uh-huh that uh, we can ride on. Mm. But Hiram, mm. you and me, we are the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. We have, you may be having but other gifts. can that. give you yes. that understanding. You yeah. see, now you are relating, uh, you, you, you are saying, you are reading the book of Revelation and then you take us back to the book of Daniel and yes. you see uh, it is true, it is relating. But I yes. think the problem is uh, reading just a verse. Yeah. Uh, I think you should read the whole Bible and mm-hmm. um, 
understand yeah and and then take time also take time also yeah and then ask to god to help you to be able to to, yes, to understand to, yeah, internalize the illumination it. of the yes. word also mm. as well so that we can mm. yeah. so somebody was saying that we should uh, also yes bring them that coverage of the book of revelation yes. in fact uh -huh. there is a, there is a guy who said that i should start uh, teaching them something on uh, the greek and hebrew mm. and i was thinking like uh, having a channel as well mm. yes yeah. yes and i opened the channel you did yes but uh, now it's uh -huh. just that i've not started loading uh -huh. it's called the last report okay yes by ambassador steve uh -huh. the last report uh -huh. so that they can also go there and uh -huh. check they should be asking those small small yes, questions but you told me that yes. you've been posting also on your facebook yes 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 oh, the okay. prophecies as well uh -huh. yeah so it will be much more easy yeah yeah for but, uh, more comprehensive yes, and then, now, uh, yeah, maybe we cannot then be personal to... questions mm. on bible study mm. because i'm having bible people call me all over the world and mm. we run the bible with them until mm. morning yeah yeah people from like for, from america yeah. you know for them they are when we are sleeping is when they are awake. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah so Middle mm. East, we're almost sharing, and mm. then African countries, we are mm. sharing. Mm. So they can just contact me on WhatsApp, mm. and the same number is 0742 960 mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the number. Mm. Then on that channel on mm. YouTube is the last report. The last report. Yeah, then okay. we can have a conversation. Mm. But we're going to share sensitive information mm. to the children of God. We mm. don't, we not go put it public. Mm. Yeah, because now, mm. Yeah, very true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But with the with your number, I'm sure they, you can, you guys you can be able to convert yes. into yeah. those yeah. deep conversations. Yeah. yeah, because we are also starting the I'm also starting again another move across the country again mm -hmm. with this information. Uh -huh. Yeah, people should be alert, they mm -hmm. know what to do, and we'll mm -hmm. be talking to them in the houses, mm -hmm. in their open air spaces, mm -hmm. and we're going to do that. Uh -huh. Even all if, over yes, all over the country. The whole country. Mm -hmm. Here and we don't need we don't need many things to spread the gospel mm. what you need is just shoes to put on mm. and a bag that you can carry water mm. even if we carry we mm. eat cassava mm. and, and what yeah. and uh, and we drink water we're okay mm. Mm. but the message is getting there yeah. Yeah. but what i always say is that god will always send you yeah. people to also support uh, the ministry uh, true yes because true. at the end of the day if uh, you want to take the gospel to another level and you want to go to kisumu you want to go to yeah. Kakamega. Uh, true. You will still need fuel, uh, yeah. transport. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, I'm sure yeah. the people, of course, who would want also to support you, yeah. you know, into taking the ministry uh, to greater level, they have your number. Yes, they have. They have your number. Yeah. Somebody can be touched and they can send it to you. Yeah. And it is not a demand. Uh, true, true, no, true. No, 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 no. True, it's just, true. you know, somebody can feel it yes. from the heart. And yeah. they, 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 they see the work. Yes. They see and the when work. God commands, yeah. <laughs> they will trust me. Uh, true. So uh, thank true. you so much, Steve, yeah. uh, for sharing that information with us. Yeah. And of course, even our viewers, wherever you're watching us uh, all over the world, God bless you. And that is where we'll put a comma, but we'll be back with more information. So bye-bye and here are mine. Till next time, God bless you. As you can see from my attire, I'm uh, on site uh, with 25-7 Contractors Limited where we are telling you that we ensure and we make sure that your dream come to life and of course we ensure that your vision of owning your dream house comes to reality and all these you can only find at 25 7 contractors limited i told you guys that with as little as 30 percent you can be able to start your journey of owning your dream house imagine 30 percent so in the layman's language i mean if you want a house that is approximately three million let's say a, a bungalow uh, the, and you have a budget of 3 million, you just need 1 million to start your construction. All these you can only get at 25-7 Contractors Limited. And uh, let us walk on a journey to ensuring that you own your dream house, bungalow, mansion, uh, also an apartment, even commercial. If you're there, you want to build a school, you want to build a hospital, you want to build a bank, we are here for you as 25-7. And what we are saying is you pay as you build and you just need 30% uh, deposit and then the 70% you will pay as we continue with each phase. Uh, and this is something that uh, you 
uh, our viewer you can agree with us that it is very very easy and stress free yeah you can call us the number is on your screen you can call us 0740926732